it's some things that me and God have actually talked about he wanted to do. So he told me not to let this actually worry me about how I was going to, because you know, at one point I was worried like with this coming along, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? You know, I was telling God like, it's things in place that I know you want me to do, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it with everything else around me. And that's when he told me like, who am I? You know, you don't worry about what goes on around us. You know, you just, that's correct. Can't do both. So. I guess we're waiting for you to look at the docs, the documents. Uh, no, I never look at documents. Are you just waiting for the funding? Yes, the funding. Yeah, uh, that automatically should be. I mean, the instructions typically just send it to us and they can fund. Um, um, but I'm sending an email to the closing department, okay? Okay. You have something pretty soon. Okay, right. thank you. All right, thank awesome. You. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So, one day I happened to just be on Facebook strolling and I came across Cone's Realty Premier Group, one of their commercials of the new construction blowout sale. And I thought to myself, hmm, should I, should I not? So I asked God, like, is this where you want me to go? What should I do? So I followed it and I signed up for it. The day of the actual day I was supposed to go, I had put in my mind that I wasn't gonna go. Um, but Scott Bryant, my realtor, called me to actually confirm the date. So I told him, yeah, but I was blowing him off, really. And <laughs> I was not for sure at that point still of what I was supposed to do. Um, so then I went, took a shower, I had just got off work, took a shower, and while I'm in the shower, I'm contemplating. Okay, should you go, should you not go, should you go? I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go, and I'll see what they say. So when I got there, that's when I met Ms. Mr. Emmett Combs. He introduced himself and told me a little bit about the group and everything and what their plans was to try to help people get homes, new homes at that. Um, Scott hadn't made it there yet. He was running late. Um, so by this time, <laughs> I just, <As> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Scott, yeah, you do be late. <laughs> we gonna cut that out. <laughs> so um, by this time, you know, they had made me feel at home. They gave me some water. And at this time, I still wasn't sure so I stepped aside and I told God, like, if this is it, I need you to make a move. Like, show me, give me a sign, like, this is it. So right when I went to leave, I was gonna try to skip out on them. They both caught me at the door. <laughs> so I ended up talking me into it, and this is how our whole journey began. Quarantine side. Yeah, quarantine side. Exactly. But I must say. How does it feel? It feels great. That is the best blessing I've had besides actually beating cancer. Those two was the best accomplishments I've had in my life. And I know it's more to come. So I'm just looking forward to what 2020 brings. I'm not worried about this COVID-19. It's just, I know God will see us through all this. We just have to hold on and keep our faith. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you.